Welcome. Welcome back to Frosting the 2019 BYU Football Media Web Chats. <laughs> <laughs> we're here with Bracken Hill Bakery and Kairos Tonga, defensive lineman. We were just debating about what is better between toaster strudels and Pop-Tarts. And you said, uh, need I, needless to say, a little lazy saying because, lazy. because the Pop-Tarts already have the That's frosting just... on. Is that not Cuckoo. accurate? No, it's true. That is why they're better. One of the many because reasons. Because with poster, poster strudels, you have to actually pour the Apply, frosting. And, well, the thing is, you never get enough frosting for how many Agreed. you have to make. So Agreed. by the third one, you're out of frosting. But sometimes, Kairos, what do you <laughs> think? Kairos is like, come on. Come bless on, your heart. I'll that was go. a bless your heart tap. I, I agree with him. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, do you want to know why we have the Pop-Tarts? It, 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 it apparently was something in, in your life. Did you not serve Pop Tarts at your farewell? I did actually. <laughs> so that's oh. why. So if you would like, we we have Pop Tarts yeah, here. here if we would like to open up a bag and you, you can you know have a bite if you'd you like. You guys can snack while we're Crazy. doing this interview. So this is an honor of you. So why the Pop Tarts? Has it always been one of your favorites? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've always eaten Pop Tarts. <laughs> How did you guys find that out? That's crazy that you guys knew that. A lot of Twitter, a lot of stalking. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I love the stalking. Yeah, my mom was like, what should we make for the farewell? I'm like, let's just make Pop Tarts. So we just got some toasters from our neighbors and just. You don't even have to make Pop Tarts, though. Well, yeah, you got to stick them in them. I'll be honest with you. I, sure. I think I actually like them better not in the toaster. Mm, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we could go on forever debating about this, so <laughs> let's, we better move on. All right, Bracken, I want you to, in three words, describe the defensive line this year. Three words. Uh, powerful. Okay. Brutal and fast. All right. Why would you say those besides the obvious? Well, just because uh, I feel like we've gotten a lot stronger from last season. And we, we need to we need to play with some brutality and some like some violence, and then and then it's all about speed and the pass rush and the, and, and a lot of part of the game is speed. Cool. How would you answer that, Kyrus? How would you describe the defensive line this year? I think dominant, um, strong, and fast as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of going off. What Bracken said. You're one, you're one of those guys. You're you're a scary guy. I remember asking you last year. I'm like, Kyrus, what do you what do you do <laughs> to intimidate the quarterback? And you said you just like stare at his eyes. Isn't that right? Yeah. You just stared at him. And I legit got the chills. Like I was <laughs> trying to picture myself standing in front of Kyrus. I'm like, can we recreate no, what it would be no. like <laughs> on the line? Ball's about to be snapped. What, what camera can you want to look in? Maybe one of these cameras and give the stare that you right, would. This guy, this guy let's right let's here. go right here. All right, like that is that is your opponent right there. The ball's about to be snapped. What's the look? <laughs> wow, that's the look. Okay, crazy, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> that's intimidating. That was, uh, um, sorry, there's a lot of light right here, but I just I don't know. It's kind of weird. But I just stare at it. I just like Hawaii's quarterback, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I don't know how many times we made eye like we locked eyes. It's kind of weird saying that. But, we're, we're, but that's, that's so many, sound romantic. Yeah, like I'm just kidding. he'd be like he'll like nod his head. I'll just keep staring. Really? And then he'll just look away. And it is a little uneasy when yeah. someone's staring right at you. Like you don't know what's going on. Did his eyes like get big? Ears kind of like no. He's just like, his dude. Like... This guy's weird. <laughs> Kyrus, you uh, you grew up a Utah fan, yeah. is that right? Yes, so how how do you feel about the rivalry now, being on this side of it? Like, what what are your feelings towards it? I love it. I think it's uh it's fun. It's um gives it more juice for me. I don't know. It's just like <laughs> I always picture myself as, uh being able to to play for Utah growing up, and then now I'm all about the blue. So <laughs> it's it's a little fun. I'll ask both of you guys this. What would it mean to you guys? Obviously, people talk about the streak and be way you're going to break the streak. What would it mean to you guys to be the team that broke the streak? Uh, I mean, I don't know if we think about it as like a streak, really, you know, more of just like a, for us, it's kind of more of a revenge thing from last from last season than anything else, at least for me. Yeah. I don't really think about like the however many seasons it's been, but I just remember last year that's kind of just been burned into our minds and it's the last game now it's the first game it's kind of something that you don't forget you think about all the time what would it mean to you I mean as a, as a kid that grew up rooting for Utah but now being on this side you said you're all blue now what would it mean to you it mean a lot I think uh, I took a uh, something with Utah we grew up with a lot of the kids that, that have gone there uh, that graduated from Utah 
um, just being able to, to play again, uh, play against them again, um, and this time at, in Provo, I think it'll mean a lot for, for not only us as players, but uh, for Cougar Nation, so, yeah. Oh man, I'm looking forward to that first game just to get football started again. Uh, I just love it. Bracken, this is your gonna be your first year without Braden. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of a sad thing. How does that make you feel? Well, things are definitely different because he moved out of the house. So <laughs> now he moved out or you moved out? Because you were living with them. I was living with them, so now a couple of guys moved into their house with me. Uh, but okay, okay. it's different. Like you know, I, groceries aren't free anymore. And <laughs> I have to buy my own toilet papers and stuff. It's like stuff you got to think about. You don't, you don't have his wife cleaning up. But your def, that anymore. definitely doesn't happen anymore. Now Chandon does that. But uh, <laughs> <coughs> I would just say, yeah, it's going to be kind of sad. I, I'll, I'll room with some friends and stuff. Like it'll, it'll still be okay, yeah. but it'll be different. Yeah. I have a little brother who just joined. Who's going to walk on? So really, there you go. Is what, he going to live position? with you guys? He's a linebacker. Wow. So, is he moving into the house? Yeah, he moved into the house. He just oh, got back yeah. from Brazil, so. You're not skipping a beat, then. Not skipping a beat. That's awesome. All right, so now I want to ask Kairos, because for those that may have seen the uh, the BYU Fan Fest in Nashville, uh, in fact, let's let's look at this right here. Uh, Kairos and I shared uh, kind of a special moment. Hey, uh, Kairos, oh. you, uh, you got any more room on the screen for me? <laughs> yeah, you can sit on the wow. armrest on my left. <laughs> Look, I, the lap. that yeah. meant a lot that to me. Crazy. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know in terms of life experiences, where does that rank? Being able to sit in that swing with me in Nashville. I'll put it <laughs> number two. Number two. Oh, what was number one? Going on my mission is number one. There we go. So. I like it. I like his priorities. Should be running right behind Kyrus's mission. I appreciate. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. I really <laughs> hope, such a good sport for doing. I hope that. when you get married that, you, that he gets bumped down just a little bit. Number three. Yeah. Number three. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Bracken, you and I have, have also shared a really unique and special experience. We have. We, we, we have. have. How could you forget? I could never. No. Uh, we we did a cooking show together, and uh, let's let's see that clip. <laughs> I don't know if my eyebrows have grown back from that moment. So, so what does that rank for you in, in your life experiences? Uh, you know, probably 11th or 12th most embarrassing <laughs> moment on live television. I'd say. 11th or 12th? Uh, How many things have you done on TV? That maybe not on TV. I'll just say 11th or 12th most embarrassing. Maybe 9th, somewhere around there. It made for really great TV for us, though. So I appreciate it. Now, one of the things that we wanted to talk to you guys about and have some fun with was was your hair. But you, Bracken, have have decided to get a little bit of a haircut, so it is it is less mullet-ish yeah. yeah. than it than it was. Kyrus, you still got the the flowing hair. I like it. I love yeah. it. I love it. But I we were we, we kind of thought we were going to have. Like the both. twins, both of you. What, what went Sorry into, about that. What went into cutting the hair? Because that was that was a good look. Yeah, uh, a couple of people told me I should cut it, and then my my pops was like, "You should cut it." <laughs> and that was the final. So thing. then I cut it. Okay. Well, in honor of of the, of the mullets, we have some mullets that we think are rank in some of the best ever. We would like you guys to rank them one to ten. So let's look at the on first a on, on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> Let's let's rank oh. Andre, Agassi. Andre Agassi's Ooh. mullet. Where are you ranking this on a scale of one to ten? He's got the kind of the bleach like Kyrus. I give the, ble the bleach tip. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you oh. give? What do you give Andre? It's one of the six. classics. A six. Yeah. It's probably wow. seven. Six okay. Is, remember, he followed that up with completely shaving his head off. Oh what? That, that's like completely. The, all the hair was gone. Well, you see, but his sides, his sides were his sides were long. Yeah. It was kind of just like a long head of hair. Yeah. Well, he had a skullet for a while, balding the top, mm. and then, but anyway, pretty good. All right, <laughs> okay. let's, let's see the second yeah, one. Yeah, the second one. Bringing this one a little closer to home. You should recognize this guy. Mm, John Beck, former BYU quarterback. That pitcher was with the Washington Redskins. Dang. Where are you ranking John Beck's <laughs> mullet? Now, that one's just good looking. That one's just, <laughs> that's a good looking dude right there. You scale from one to ten, you got you to gotta rank it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a, a five. five. Five, okay. So below Andre Agassi. Okay. Would you? Yeah, probably five. Okay. All right. Five, six All right, let's move on. We got a couple more. And now this guy. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that? That's a gorgeous <laughs> that's, Michael Bolton. That's number one. 
Yeah, this is wow. There's curls, everything. So you you drink like the a ten? You drinking this yeah. a ten? Oh, ten oh. being the highest. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh sorry. Yeah yeah. 10 yeah, that's, being I thought, yeah, yeah. Did you say, you're, did you you're going the ten. Sun? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was a beautiful photo. And beautiful. with the singing like, voice, you add that with yeah, the hair, the like, lighting. It was gorgeous. What I'm I saying. like when you're looking to here. It just looks like a normal haircut, and then you move your hands, and it's a nice flowing. Yeah. All right, here we go. Couple more. Here's this next one. Also close to home. Yeah. This is Jim McMahon. Oh. Jim McMahon back in the day. <clears throat> what would you what would you rank this guy? Sideburns could be a little longer. You know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I give it like a four. Four? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's quite as good. Yeah. Sideburns. You're giving him advice. Yeah, it could be a five. How to have a better yeah. mullet. Okay. All right, last All right, one. Last one here. You know this is, right? Yes. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. That's an 11. Has to be, right? An 11? Yeah, yeah that's an 11. Be you can't, you can't it's Chuck. It's Chuck else. Norris. It's Chuck Norris, yeah, that's 11. Chuck Norris invented In, in fact, that mullet has a Chuck Norris. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> let, the, let the jokes fly. Hello. Okay, awesome. Guys, what are you up to this summer? Football. Just yeah, football. Workouts and school, you know, nice. for me. About yeah, you. I did spring school for the first time. It was kind of a lot. I didn't get to fish as much as I usually do. Oh, I'm down man. to like once or twice a week. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> it's not good for man to not fish very often. Do, do you eat the fish that you catch? Usually, usually. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. I mean, my fellow fly fishermen would probably not be happy with me when I say <laughs> that, but I do. Well, you'll be able to provide your family if necessary during the apocalypse. True. So True. There you go. Okay. Listen up, ladies. Yeah, the apocalypse. Know. Yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> whatever you whatever you want to say. All right, guys, we appreciate the time. Thanks so much for being here. Hopefully, you get to go home after this. Hopefully, yeah. you can go fishing and take some pop tarts. Yeah, yeah. take some pop tarts for the road. Right. How did you guys know that? It's crazy. I don't know how. Deep, deep digging into social media yes. can yes can provide wonders. Our research team yes. really earned their money this week. That's crazy.